Here is a, an example of a pulley problem. We're always going to draw in the segment between the centers of the circle, and we're also going to draw a segment that goes from the center of the small circle perpendicular to that radius of the bigger circle. So what we've effectively, effectively created here is a rectangle because we have right angles up there. That means that's going to have to have 90 degrees left as well. So we've got this rectangle, and in a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. So this length is 30. Also, this length is 6, which means that this length is 8. Now, clearly, this isn't drawn to scale, but we're going to use the numbers that were given. And now we also have then this small right triangle. And in that right triangle, here is our right angle. From this angle that we're trying to find, 8 is the adjacent, 30 is the opposite. So we could say that the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent. In other words, the angle is the tangent inverse of, simplify that, 15 over 4. Because there's so much symmetry in these problems, this angle below it is also theta. So if we double this, 2 tangent of theta is 2 times the tangent inverse of 15 over 4. Now, calculating that, we get approximately 150.1 degrees. And we'll store that as a letter. I'll store it as alpha A as I'm working through this one. Now, that's significant because we're going to use that to figure out the arc angle on the other side of the circle. In other words, if we take 360 minus that alpha A stored value, we get approximately 209.9 degrees, storing that as alpha B. The last thing we're going to do before we get to all the calculations to actually calculate this belt length is to recognize that if we extend this segment a little bit, then what we have are some parallel lines. Specifically, this radius and this radius are going to be parallel to each other. Since they are both perpendicular to that same tangent, then the purple segments have to be parallel, and then our corresponding angles are congruent. So since this angle is theta, this angle is theta as well. The angle above it is going to be theta as well because of all the symmetry. So this angle in this smaller circle is 2 theta, which we've already saved as block A. Now let's go to actually calculating. We have the top tangent length, and that length is 30. So for our entire belt length, we have 30, 30 plus 30 at the bottom as well, plus that arc length. That arc length is going to be the central angle, which we have saved as B. So alpha B over 360 times 2 times pi times the radius of 14 plus, now we're going to find the arc length over here on the smaller circle. That central angle is A, so it's A over 360 times 2 times pi times that radius of 6. We finish off this problem by going to the calculator, entering all that into the calculator just as we see it, as long as we have these values stored as alpha A and alpha B. We can plug it in just like that, and the entire length of the belt going around this shape, starting at point F, going around that curve, tangent segment, curve, tangent segment again, we have a length of about 127.00.